Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today we have another episode, episode 3 of my career mode series. Now, before we get started, I just want to say guys, sorry for not uploading um, for quite a while. I just took a break um, with New Year's and with Christmas as well. I did upload after Christmas, but I took a break. But I've got some more uh, career mode episodes get, uh, gotten ready and I'll do some more daily race and GT Sports. I've got a lot of content ready for you guys, just uh, sorry for taking such a break. But... Uh, let's get into the video. Um, last episode, you can see it on the screen right now. It was a pretty okay one. It was a it was a good it was a good result. It was the result that you'd expect seeing our pace, uh, P5 and P4. Or was it P4 and P3? I actually do not remember. Um, but uh, anyways, it was a good result. But uh, we did let signs overtake us, um, which wasn't the best part of that. But um, you know, it was a really good result for the team. So now, going into this episode, then, um, Vietnam, I'm really, really strong here. So I'm looking to, uh, do us, maybe, maybe look for the podium, maybe that's, maybe the podium is the aim. Because I feel really, really strong here. It's one of my best tracks, probably my third or second best track with Zambor and Spa, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Let's get stuck in. Right, so here we are then, in the menu here, you can see we don't have a lot of days before, um, DVN and Grand Prix, so probably we don't even we do have a lot of of R and D points, so we are gonna do upgrades. And we're actually gonna do I don't know if you remember guys from last time, but um, I saved R and D because for some reason I wanted to do these two upgrades at the same time. I could have just bought them earlier uh, and then done the other one when I had enough R and D, but I decided to wait until I had enough R and D so uh, to make them at the same time. So you can see we bought those two um, air upgrades. And um, we rush them. Hopefully, both of them will come in for the uh, Vietnamese Grand Prix. You can see we also are waiting for an engine upgrade, uh, which won't come for the Vietnamese Grand Prix, I, don't, I don't believe. Or maybe it will, I don't remember, we'll see. But this is RD tree, then you could just about see there that uh, we're looking pretty good. Um, I didn't actually get a good look at it either, so you might want to rewind and just have a look at the RD tree. But we're skipping through time here. Um, and sadly, one of the R and D upgrades fails, and so my whole plan of getting both of them for the same Grand Prix didn't really work. Um, so, I mean, I guess it was kind of maybe to be expected. Um, that was a big chance, but yeah, you can see there we actually gain R and D points, but we're ten R and D points away from rebuying the upgrade, which is really, really annoying. Um, we did get the engine upgrade though, so that's really good, but you can just about see there, it costs 500 R&D points to rebuy that uh, air upgrade, and we only have 490, so we're actually not going to go to the interview with Claire though. Um, yes, Charles Leclerc, I'm going to do obviously because he'll also give me a better rivalry than Ricardo, but also more of the claim, so I might as well go with him. Are you hoping to have your reliability issues sorted out before qualifying? This is probably because I may or may not have crashed in practice, so I'm just going to say no comment. You had a mishap in practice. Will this affect qualifying or race day? Exactly what I just said. Um, whatever answer we do, we just don't want to hurt the team, so we're not going to do any. Com we're not going to. We're going to answer no comments. It's the start of the season. How do you think things are going to go for you? Um, we're just going to boost the team acclaim here. Whatever answer we're going to give, we have to boost the team acclaim. So. Um, with a great team like this, I can't fail. We could go with that, um, or we could go with I'm right on the best team, and that's what we're gonna go with. Well, here's hoping they're working hard to find some improvements. Again, Claire not understanding that what happened in practice, which I'm not gonna show on camera, was my fault because I just crashed. I may or may not have crashed. Not the team's fault, so hopefully the team didn't get too uh, annoyed by that. But we get a boost in the claim, so that's good. But let's go to qualifying then. Um, like I said, I'm looking really strong here, and seeing also the pace of it in practice, I'm actually going to try to qualify on the mediums in Q1. If it doesn't work, we just wasted a medium set that we were not going to use anyway, so we might as well try. Um, because I feel like I got some really good pace. Um, sadly, I didn't have a special helmet for this race, because I was just too lazy to get one, but I do get one for Zambor, and I will get one for Spa, so uh, don't worry about that, guys. But... Here we are then, um, in practice. Here we are then in uh, qualifying. And this is our first lap in qualifying. You can see that we have the medium tire, the medium tire. 
set on. So um, we're just trying to do our best here, but it was actually just even though we had the medium tires, it was actually a really bad lap. I think it wasn't uh, it wasn't bad because it was scruffy, it was very clean and and precise, but it was just not fast at all. Uh, and yeah, so definitely not getting the best out of these medium tires, which is what we need to do if we want to get into Q2. So. Uh, and then we hit the wall as well, so for good measure, but that was the final corner, so even if we did get damage, which uh, I'm not sure, uh, we didn't get any damage, but even if we had, we wouldn't have gotten, uh, we wouldn't have lost time, but still. Um, not a good lap, um, 36.5 definitely can improve, and as you can see, we're already skipping the time, we're already kicked, we're already out of qualifying, so we tried, um, but it didn't go to plan. You can see here, um, starting our second lap in Q1, you can see we're already improving by 5 tenths and we haven't even finished the first sector. So, like I said, really, really bad lap, really not fast. Um, it was clean, but it wasn't fast. So, we're, go we're going out again. You can see here, 9 tenths faster after the straight. Um, so, yeah, didn't work for this one, but I'm sure that... Um, Hopefully in checks like Sanford and Spa, we will be able to qualify on mediums in, Q, in, in Q1. Um, because that would then give us the chance to even do three runs in Q3, or just do two, two runs in Q2 and two runs in Q1. So, But yeah, so here we are, then at the end of the lap, we've gained pr almost two seconds in the lap time. That just shows how terrible it was. And we go all the way up at a P7. Uh, so this was th this in itself. This lap in itself wasn't an amazing lap time, and it was two seconds faster than my lap with the mediums, which was an absolute shocker of a lap. So I feel like if we had done a better lap on the mediums, we maybe could have qualified because uh, somehow we go from P7 to P5, which is interesting. Um, but uh, we would have been able to qualify on the mediums. So. Yeah, but I don't know why there's this glitch in this game where you just skip a couple of positions sometimes. So you guys would have to let me know in the comments below. But you can see here we're setting a lap in Q2, and this is a uh, this was felt a pretty good lap. We set a purple second sector. So um, let's see what we can do uh, through the final two corners. Um, this is actually a pretty decent lap, I would say. Um, maybe not getting should I be the best out of the car. Yet, but it was 34.8. This I think was maybe fa I, I think it was faster than what we did in Q2, but it could be wrong. It was I think it was close to what we did in Q2, but probably faster by a couple of tenths. But I'm not sure, so uh, I'll have to check on that. But um, so it felt like a pretty decent lap time. But as we skip the time here, we're not we're I mean not actually. Um, but my bad. It was a really good lap, and we are at P3. But you can see that Hamilton, Vettel, Leclerc. I haven't said good lap times, but yeah, I was sitting comfy. I was in P3. Nothing was supposed to happen. But as we skip through the end of qualifying, we're we're out. We're we're out. I mean, Cody's, please fix this. I mean, I was seriously. I don't care the fact that the better AI didn't set a lap time. I shouldn't drop to eleventh from third. Um. And I think if I hadn't simulated time, maybe I wouldn't have dropped from 11th to 3rd, but I have, and I'm really disappointed in this game. <sighs> I wanted to get in Q th into Q3 for freak's sake, we were we were up there, and, and then we got kicked out. We're 11th, which is technically the best place to be, but since we're not going to use that medium strategy, it's not the best place to be, it's the worst place to be. So, disappointing, but... We'll have to try to make the best of it tomorrow and try to redeem ourselves. So, without any further ado, guys, let's get stuck into the race. The Formula One circus has arrived in Southeast Asia once more as we usher in a new era and get ready to go racing here in Vietnam. It's a track that combines the bespoke design of a traditional race circuit with the tight, close barriers of a street track that our drivers race on today. 23 corners and a total distance of 3.4 miles. Watch out in particular for overtaking into the braking zone at turn 11. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Anthony. 
no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness, and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Verstappen, Vettel, Daniel Ricciardo, and Albon, Sainz, Perez, Stroll, and the Rainmaster, Ocon, Gasly, Daniel Kvyat, and Leclerc, Magnussen, Raikkonen, Roman Grosjean, and George Russell, Latifi, and Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. Right, uh, here we go then. Um, in the, uh, in the car, I don't know why I just faltered up there, but here we are. Um, so is going to be, of course, one stop. We're going to do the undercut because we really need an undercut here. We are starting down in 11th. And this stretch is also going to be to make an absolutely horrendous stab him into turn one. So, looking forward to that. Let's get it. Let's, let's do this. Um, here we go to five. Red lights. And away we go. They're held for a long time. Away we go. We get a pretty bad initial start, but then we um, find attraction and we. It was a pretty good start. But here we go. Then we're going we're gonna to send that inside. And we see our teammate not going side by side. So, we're going to use that to, to overtake him. And then. You can see here, we actually squeeze our team and I would try to get these guys as well. But yes, yeah, so, a pretty horrendous turn one dive, but we're up at a P7 from P11. Good, four or four positions already gained. Here we are then, at the back of Sebastian Vettel now. Um, already beating our rival Charles Okay, but can we send it inside of his teammate Vettel? No, he goes defensive and that's actually really good for me because we were able to just switch it down the inside, around the outside, which then turns into the inside. I'm almost like Alexander Albon, I really like outside moves. And so we make that move stick, and now we're up in a P6, but we're not done there because um, the AI are really, really slow in the in this straight, um, in the first lap. So we're just going to absolutely deplete every single bit of ERS, not just get Ricardo, but also but Alexander Albon as well. You can see we have run out of ERS for this lap, um, <clears throat> or we soon will, so... Yeah, but that was worth it, definitely, because we're now up in a P4, and we're just going to miss the ERS for the part where you don't really need ERS, so. Uh, now we're going to have to try to get into a rhythm here and see, do we have the pace to catch up to, them, to, to Max Verstappen? I mean, I don't know. Uh, I, I feel really confident here, so we might as well give it a shot. Um, but yeah, so really, really good start. Uh, really, really, really good start. Um, and... Since we got such a good start, we might delay our pit stop a little bit because we don't need to pit as early anymore because we've already gained quite a fair bit. So uh, we'll see how we'll see how the race unfolds. But we moved to later on into lap two. We set a purple for sector, but of course lap two you always set purple for sectors. But you can see here we are getting we got very close to that chicane because the AI do not cut the corner. But I have it on strict by the way. But you can cut so much um, that corner so. Even even with the strict corner cutting rules, but um, you can see here. Just uh, I was thinking I could have definitely maybe gone for a move on for Stappen if I depleted all my ears once again. But I decided to just save it for that lap and come again the next lap. We once again set a purple for a sector, and you can see we're really close here. And this time we're gonna go for it. We got the DRS, even though Verstappen also got it. Um, I just wanted to cool down the ERS usage for a lap. Uh, and get Verstappen in the lap after you can see once again using all our ERS and we are going to be able to get Verstappen here so yeah really really good pace to be honest um, and we might actually have a look at Bottas actually because he's getting really slow in this right he of course doesn't have the ERS so but we make the move and set Verstappen a bit of contact not gonna lie tried to avoid that but it didn't quite work but we got no firm damage so that's all good all good but what I was saying is that uh, we've got really really good pace at this point um, yeah, um, I, I wasn't expecting to be as fast as a, as a rebel here, uh, honestly, so, yeah, really, really good, uh, good pace, and now we're gonna set our sights on Bottas, he does, 
We are a bit slow through that section, even though it is my favorite section, the S is at the final sector. We are a bit slow in it, but um, we now cut on to lap four, to um, the main straight lap four, and we are really close to Bottas here. We don't. I think we don't even need to use our ERS, but we are going to. We're already out of it, so we might as well just complete deplete it. Um, but yeah, we don't. We probably don't need it. But um, sorry for the little. Uh, sorry for the moment where I just stopped talking. Um, my bad. But uh, we didn't. We didn't complete deplete the ERS. We do get up into. Uh, Pichu, and uh, yeah, now we might as well set our sights on Hamilton. I don't honestly think uh, we can catch Hamilton because he's really fast. Um, he's got absolute lightning pace in this race. I feel like we might be able to maybe get away from the guys behind, which we do actually break away of the one second gap. Verstappen overtakes Bottas, so Bottas might have some problems in, the, in this race. Uh, not sure, but that will be another race that Bottas doesn't get a podium in the Mercedes. So we'll have to just wait and see about that. But. Yeah, so lap 5 here, we lost 3 tenths to Hamilton for me, we took Bottas, we're actually going to come in this lap, like I said, we de we delayed our pit stop by one lap, it was supposed to be lap 4, that was already going to be a huge undercut, so we, did, we, uh, we sent it one lap later, lap 5, uh, and now we're in the pit, so, yeah, really, really good uh, first stint, um, really, really good if a good first stint, maximized all we could do, and now we're going to try to get another kind of Hamilton C, if we can somehow gain those 2.7 seconds in our undercut, and if we can't, P2 is still an unbelievable result. We just gotta make sure we don't lose this P2, because, and we don't get stuck in traffic. That's the main thing. We can all get stuck in traffic and lose the P2 to Bottas. And you can see, saying about checking, checking traffic, we get out in traffic, but I really hope that this traffic means that we'll have a lot of trail lane speed, but you can see how to get so slow, not taking that lot, so, yeah. Not a great start, but you can see here, just not wanting to use a lot of ERS where we need it. Uh, we ju I just want Giovinazzi to go defensive there, because then we're just going to swoop around this outside. But my plan doesn't really go to work. We actually have to cut the corner there a little bit. We do get a uh, track limits warning, but it's all good. We got past him, and now we got a DRS for this field as well. So that's, that's the positive, I guess, uh, that we have a lot of DRS zones when we get behind traffic. But And the thing is, we didn't really get hold up too much. Well, we did get held up quite a lot, actually, and especially in the chicane, but now we got the third sector and hopefully we won't get held up there. We do have Grosjean, who is not that far ahead, so we probably will get held up by him in the third sector. But, uh, nonetheless, we're gonna plot on, we're gonna keep going, and keep pushing. Um, but yeah, once again, just gonna uh, keep pushing, gonna keep uh, doing the best job we, we can do. Um, and yeah, see... Let's what uh, our teammate is now in the pits, but I don't think. Well, I don't. I don't think Hamilton is in the pits. I don't know, but sometimes the AI uh, team pit the second driver first for some reason. I really hope they are pitting Bottas first because it will give us another lap of undercut. Uh, at the same time, it would release Hamilton not in traffic, but we're gonna see now who is in the pits, and that that is Hamilton actually. So my mistake. I I was, I was thinking that they maybe would pit. Valtteri first for some reason, maybe to cover off my undercut, but or to try to not maybe gain too much. But you can see here, since Hamilton is so close, I, I had to send that on Grosjean. We made a little bit of contact. I do apologize to Grosjean, but it's not like he was gonna get any good results anyway in this race. So, but um, back to back to the race. Um, Hamilton is not in any traffic at the moment. He overtook the only car was ahead of him. So at this point, it's just about hoping that the car is ahead of Hamilton get into a fight and that's traffic but uh, you might have seen that Verstappen also pit and we are ahead of him so we are we are uh, thorough we did hold the speed too and because uh, Bottas was behind Verstappen actually I think maybe Bottas really took took Verstappen but uh, uh, um, I'm confident that we'll be ahead of him as well but you can see they're trying to get on the inside of Gasly but we can't so we're going to round this outside uh, and we I was going to make a move on Kivya but this yellow flags who is going slowly that, that's some of the, that's, that's Hamilton Oh my goodness, that, that's Hamilton. H Hamilton's out. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness, guys. Hamilton is out of this Grand Prix. Unbelievable. And so we're now leading the Vietnamese Grand Prix. Thankfully, there's not going to be a safety car. So we're now in the lead. Oh my goodness, guys. We got such a good opportunity here because Hamilton just DNF's out of this Grand Prix. 
Uh, we just got, we just got confirmation. There's Bottas. He's behind us. Verstappen is behind us. Everyone is behind us, except Bakon, who's still a bit. But we're now in the lead of this. Well, we're soon gonna be in the lead of the Vietnamese Grand Prix. Unbelievable scenes. Uh, unbelievable luck as well. Uh, once again, getting very lucky in the series, like we got in uh, Australia with the many DNFs. Uh, Hamilton, another DNF for him. And so, looks like we're going to hold on to the championship lead as we go into lap, starting to lap 9, and we are now in the lead of the Grand Prix. Unbelievable. But you can see behind, um, Bottas is catching up way fast. I don't know if you noticed it. But that's because I don't want to I don't want to lose this. And so, we're just going to go nice and easy. Nice and cautious. Uh, we're not going to mess this opportunity up. Um, and that obviously means that we're going very slowly and Bottas has caught back up to us, but I don't care. I don't care. We just have, we're just we just going to have to defend as hard as we can. But uh, the fact that Bottas going to catch up to us was probably going to be inevitable. I feel like if I wanted to make sure it didn't be enough. Uh, so uh, we might as well just make sure we don't make any mistakes uh, and just prepare ourselves for when he does come. But, oh my goodness, guys, if we win this race, that would be absolutely unbelievable. Um, we won our first race in my team in episode 2. Where are we going to win our first race in career mode in episode 3? Let's find out. Here comes Valtteri Bottas. Is he going to overtake us here? I'm actually going to let him do that. Because this way, I will then have DRS. Um, so, yeah, playing games with Bottas here. Uh, letting him go. For, so then we have DRS. The DRS detection point is uh, not here yet. You can see in the minimap that green blob, that is detection point. So we're now, we now have DRS and we uh, almost already got past him. We could even get in standard here. In fact, we might, I don't, I don't remember. No, we're not gonna go to, we're not gonna go in standard. We're gonna keep it, we're gonna hold it in rich. We're not gonna use any overtake mode. Get this P1 back and we're back in the lead of this Grand Prix. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna have to do this for four more laps. N not impossible for sure. Um, our teammate is up in P4 as well, uh, and he could very well catch up if we have a little big fight. He's only 7 seconds, but I say only, that is a big gap to catch up. But if we fight quite a lot, you never know. And if we keep going, you know, conservative, you never know. He could catch up back up and maybe he could snatch a double podium for McLaren. That is, if we, of course, don't mess it up. But I don't, I, I'm gonna do everything to hold on to this win. But you can see here, going a bit wider, feeling a bit of this here. Feeling a bit of tire, I guess you could say, and uh, Bottas is all over us. Here he comes. Is he gonna go inside or inside? We're gonna we're gonna leave him the outside because I don't want to let him overtake me here. But that was actually the wrong decision. I feel like, um, or maybe not. He actually lets himself be squeezed, so we're gonna take that. But we we then go wide, and so he just, he sends another one. Uh, but we're just able to hold the outside there and keep the position. Um, but once again, that's not gonna be for long because you know he's really close. There's no point even fighting him. We're just gonna let him have the position, uh, and then we're gonna regain it um, after the detection point. You can see that we just hold them around the outside. We go very like that. A bit obvious that we're doing the strategy, uh, and he overtakes us around the outside. We don't get a good exit out there, but it doesn't matter. It's just important that we keep close to him, and, and we are behind him in the detection point. And so now we're gonna have the DRS. Uh, we're gonna overtake him maybe even before the, the, the DRS detection, the DRS, um, but. Now uh, we confirm the overtake with the DRS, and so we're up in the P1 once again. We got three more laps of doing this, um, and it's gonna be a familiar sight, I think, for next lap. Um, let's have a look. Here we go. Then through the final sector, Science got up two seconds this lap, so he could very well actually catch up to us. Um, he got three. Still, still three, yes, he could. If he keeps gaining two seconds a lap on us, um, because they are fighting with Montas, are going cautious. Uh, he could very well be within, uh, he could very well catch us up uh, before the end of this race. And another person who's going to catch us up for sure is going to be Max Verstappen. As you can see, I just take a very bad line to there. And uh, exposes me to Bottas, who uh, actually doesn't attack us. He doesn't get the best one out of, turn, out of the final corner, but then with the DRS he does attack us. So we're going to let him go in the inside and we're going to swoop around the outside and retake the lead. We now have the inside, and we should be able to finish the move. No, that is not, no, not yet. Um, but I don't know why I want to finish the move. Um, well, now we've got DRS here, actually, so that's not good, uh, because we might have to stay ahead of uh, Bottas. You can see I'm going in lean here. 
but he's still very much not overtaking us. So I don't know what we'll do here. Maybe we'll for once stay ahead and know this and know. We're gonna switch back him. It would have been nice if we could actually finish the move, but he actually chops us off here. So we're a bit further behind here, and that actually kind of sends us into the clutches of Verstappen. You can see Sainz has again another two seconds, maybe more in this lap. Um, but you can see here we go, we're actually gonna have to use our ERS here, which was a, which is what I was trying to avoid by letting Bottas get ahead of me, uh, because if not, Verstappen would have overtaken me. But you can see this time we go down the inside of Bottas. Don't know if it's the best of position because he just swoops down the outside, but we are able actually to squeeze him out there and keep the position into lap 12. Two more laps, guys. Two more laps, guys. So, he tries to attack us there. Nothing. He tries to switch back us. Nothing. Just, just, we just have to keep a cool head uh, and bring this home uh, for two more laps. I'm just so excited guys, <laughs> I mean, I'm just so excited, uh, science is also catching up, so I'm really hoping that he will be able to catch us up within this lap, so then, uh, in the final lap, he will maybe be able to attack, uh, Bottas and Verstappen for a podium, but this time Bottas doesn't overtake us here, and we're actually gonna move all the way to the main straight, cause we actually gained a little bit on Bottas here, and he's five tenths behind, and we actually have not let him go here, so skipping a bit through the laps, but, uh, we are gonna hold a position uh, in this main straight. Hopefully, uh, we don't let him go for the DRS. We're just gonna we're just gonna hold position here. We got a bit in the middle of the track here, just making, just taking every precaution we can, and also just slowing a bit down for Carlos, who actually, uh, who actually, of course, doesn't gain at all in this lap because, um, well, I didn't slow down for Bottas this time, so uh, we do still have the pace that proves it. But um, here we go then for the final lap. This is it guys, this is it, this, this is the only time, this is the last time we have to defend. Here comes Bottas, will he attack us here? He will, will we let him go? We will. Um, a bit of a gamble, I think maybe we could have um, risked trying to stay ahead of him, because that might have been a bit safer, but we're not gonna do it, we're gonna uh, go ahead and, and Bottas overtakes us. So now, now it's everything to play for in the line here, we do get the DRS though. Uh, Verstappen is close behind, Sainz not that far away, within the one second of me, so definitely within the DRS of Verstappen. We do get the position on, though on, on Bottas, but look who else does, Max Verstappen sends it instead of Bottas, and he sends it instead of us as well. Is he gonna be able to get the lead? That's a no, we swoop round the outside, and it, it's it's done, I, th I think it's done guys. Uh, they're going side by side at this point, um, that will really help us, we just need to go fast to this final sector. Keep our, keep our head cool, you can see, I'm just looking behind so many times, just checking that they are going side by side, and they are, and here we come now, through the final sector, guys, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it, we, we've done it, we've done it, guys, unbelievable, we, we got uh, a podium in our first race, we missed out on a podium in the second race, but today, from 11th to 1st, we're gonna win our first Grand Prix in our career, get in, guys! Unbelievable, get in! Yes! Yes! Oh, what a race! From 11th to 1st. Uh, first Grand Prix victory. I knew I was strong here, and this just proves it. Really, really happy with this. Another race and another win for McLaren. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? Well, when you overtake that many people, I'd certainly hope you'd win the race. Their car was really effective in the slipstream here today, and the team would be pleased that they didn't cook the engine, given how long they were spending in the hot air behind other cars. They had a lot of confidence to push their tyres hard as well, especially going into the corners, which allowed some late braking and some exciting passes. As the winners make their way up to the podium, one can only imagine the celebrations that will take place at McLaren tonight. Congratulations to everyone on the team, securing the win and proving they're a force to be reckoned with out on the track. Right, so McLaren are back on top and we are on top. For the first time in our F1 2020 career mode. Wow! <laughs> uh, didn't feel this, uh, for, didn't win on, uh, well, I was looking forward to a win here. Uh, I wasn't thinking about, you know, getting a win at the beginning of the race. Um, I was just thinking about doing a solid race 
and try my good pace. Uh, that's a lot of ace in there, but uh, but in the end, we matched Hamilton's space, we matched his fastest lap, um, and then he DNF'd, which just gave us the opportunity that we needed to take the lead. And uh, wow, unbelievable! Science uh, moving up to P2 in the leads in the in the title, so we are one two in the title. Of course, I don't mean to stay like this. Uh, for a long time because I don't think we will be able to but still unbelievable, unbelievable guys I'm really really happy with this result um, we fought hard um, in this race from 11th uh, you can see in the constructors as well we gained a bunch of points but unbelievable guys we did it we won a Grand Prix victory and that's all that matters today um, so yeah also keeping the one two in the title um, Getting McLaren back on top. Now the next step is championship or a one-two actually technically, um, but then we'll, we will see. We need to improve the car first. But let's go ahead and we will clear then. Amazing performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. That I am. You took the top points today. Was it a comfortable win? I wouldn't say really comfortable. It was a really tough race, but the car was absolutely fantastic. So was the engine. Um, so we're gonna. Uh, boost the engine, I think. No, we're just gonna boost the team acclaim. You scraped the walls a few times. Were you struggling for grip? The usual answer, no comment, no point in wasting our acclaim. Sounds like there's some work to do back at the factory. That's not what I said, Claire, but go and figure. Um, but that has been it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Really, really positive, uh, weekend for us of course like it would be uh, when you win a formula one grand prix um but, but yeah really really happy with that um if you guys um enjoy this please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below uh if you want to see some uh changes to this of course i've got requests of 50 percent races but sadly uh i just don't have the time at the moment of record to record those but hopefully next year uh fingers crossed but that has been it for this video, guys. Unbelievable race from 11th to, to 1st. We gotta improve our qualifying pace a little bit, though. That will be the aim for the next few races. But until next time, guys, see you then.